Hi, my name is Courtney Palm. I'm 5'7", and I'm located in Florida. Cute names, huh? You gotta love a good pun. I'm Farah. Andy, hi. You look a little anxious, are you okay? I guess I'm a little nervous. I've never met someone off an app before. <laughs> Nothing to be nervous about. I meet women on here all the time. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it can be fun once you get past all the boring stuff, like what do you do and how long have you been in Chicago, that kind of thing. Got it. Well, the boring <laughs> facts are I got here three months ago and I'm looking for the elusive first job after college. Ugh, ouch. You've been there. You're a transplant too? No, but I mean, I lived in Chicago my whole life, but I know how hard it is to get started. I was able to stay with family before I found a job, so. But moving here on your own is like way harder. Do you have any friends or family to help you get through it? My boyfriend, but his hours are crazy, so we don't see much of each other. And if I knew anyone else in the area, I guess I would need to go on ahead. <laughs> yeah, I get that too. My boyfriend's job is really demanding and the only time I get to spend with him is when he's networking with clients, so it makes me really appreciate that time I get with him. It's, um, it's tough. At least there's time for friends. I would guess if you grew up around here, you'd know people from school? Yeah, a few. Well, I was kind of a nerd growing up, so, I mean, that explains the book picture. I didn't really have a lot of friends. Same here. When I was a kid, I treated those Recommended reading list like a parent loyalty card. Read enough of them and you get fries. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite classic? I know why the caged bird sings. Solid. Thanks. Yours? Frankenstein. But my only hang up is, is that the writer was 19 years old when she wrote it and yeah, it makes me really question my life choices. <laughs> favorite mystery writer? Daphne du Maurier. Favorite Bronte? I have to pick just one. Okay, you can pick two. If we both agree that Jane Eyre is totally overrated. No worries there. It totally is. <laughs> hey. Thanks for coming. Hey, I'm sorry things got out of hand last time we went out. I don't remember much, but I know Ethan kind of hijacked your night. Yeah, you know, Paul and Miranda can't remember much either. <laughs> well, we must have thrown back way too many. No. We didn't. I know because I didn't drink anything after Ethan showed up. Do you want me to tell you what happened? Or rather, what almost happened? Well, you could probably guess, can't you? I'm sorry, Andy. I, meant, I never meant to. How many women have you met on here? I don't know. Was the app his idea or yours? I have to say, it's a genius way to get women to lower their guard. No, it's not like that. You know, Ethan, he has to, he has to impress these guys. And I mean, he, he just needed my help to get these girls, and I mean, he has runs, a good side, he's he just... He runs a date rape club. No, 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 they're just, they're hooking up. Oh, so the photos he has of all these women are just from hookups? I don't know what you're talking about. He has pictures of you too, Fair. He has pictures of, of you and all the other women you brought to him. Lonely women who just wanted a friend, and you took them to men to be used like objects. Sorry. Ethan is a predator. He saw how scared and unloved you felt and he used that. But you can stop him. You can make it so he never hurts you or anyone else again. I can't turn him in. Yes, you can. No, I'm implicated. He told me if I ever go to the police, he would make me go away too. You're a victim too, Farah. If you report Ethan, the police will remember that. You remember those books we talked about when we first met? They aren't always about good people. Sometimes they're about people who made bad choices, who hurt themselves and hurt each other. What you've done doesn't make you a bad person, not if you try to set it right. Okay. Okay? Okay. Good. Do you have anything that can incriminate him?
gave me an envelope. He didn't tell me what was in it and I didn't ask, but I think it has a drug in it that makes you forget everything. Forget it all? 